Why are I still be there? I'm watching my movies. Please leave the remote. Please. Tina? Yes. I'm going to town. In case you need anything, you know where to get it. Okay. Work on that client. Okay. Tell you what. what? Gloria fought with her friends at school. Gloria, did you fight? One my dad will write and says I didn't zanya and she came pulling my hair and give me name skin. Why did you fight? Okay, come here. Come. Why did you fight? Huh? Have you ever seen me fighting the mom? No, why did you fight? We don't fight here. Okay? Guys, Next time I'll beat you. Oh, what's I... going on here? I heard your voices from a distance. This one food. Really? Can you imagine? 
If I ever see you fighting again, I'll honey, beat you. Honey, please. These are just kids. They're just kids when they fought at school. Honey, the way you're talking to them like they're adults. Okay, fine. Fine. Deal with them. Uh, Gloria, come here. Yes, yes madam. You come. It's okay. Relax. Show me that seat. Welcome back. Ah, thank you. <coughs> So have you guys had your evening no, tea? Mom. Grace, what were you doing? I was washing their clothes. What do you mean I was washing their clothes? Get out of my sight and bring for them evening tea. I'm sorry, Aunt. What is really wrong with you? Oh, I was saying. So how many movies did you watch today? Thank you. Some more sugar, please. Darling, please. You know too much sugar won't be good for you. At this one spoon, please. Okay. that I miss you so much. You what? You heard me. I mean, you hardly get time for us. I miss those moments we used to go out, spend together as a family. You know I'm very busy. The business has grown up. And that's what we both wanted. I know, it's oh, just... Me. Me. I think I have to go. <sighs> See you later. It's aching. Oh dear, let me see. I do like this. Oh. Oh. Yes, who is this? Oh, Frank. Long time. How are you guys? You're in town. When did you guys get back? Oh, okay. And no, he has just gone out. Yeah, he's still at the same place. Okay. Okay then, thanks for calling. And don't forget to say hi to Sarah and the children. Good day too. Okay. Nice. Hello. I'm looking for Mr. Steven. Alright, give me a minute. How would I tell you? It's Frank. Okay, you can come in. Frank, <laughs> what a surprise. So when did you come to town? Three days ago. Sure. Oh, God. Thank you so much. 
So how is everybody at home? Yes, Are you sure? Yeah. That's so good. I actually tried calling your number but it was off. Are you sure? Yeah, I ended up calling Mrs. Hey, my wife. Eh? Yeah. So sorry. Are you sure? Oh, sorry. It's off. I'm so sorry. But how is everybody at home? We are good. Yes. Um, how is this place? You know, Kampala, Uganda. So there's no money, but we push. We yeah, we keep pushing. Yeah. So that we can make ends meet. That's okay. hey. Go and play. Oh, it's alright. You can go with your sister. Honey, I'll let them go to It's time for news. Give me the remote. Mommy! Okay, you report. Russ, what are you doing here? Is food ready? Will it serve itself? Mubafu. What's the chocolate? Sick was I'm going. Sick was I went. Sit to phone bill. Calipola or chocolate. Sit jab because Buff. I want us to talk about the goodness of the Lord, your relationship with the Lord. How much do you put in? And how much do you need your God? Amina, Amen. how much do you pay? How much price do you pay to seek your God or find yourself in a good relationship with God? Because the Bible tells us he has given us his only son. He so loved us. He gave us his only son. And Jesus Christ died for us on the cross just for you and me to be well. Hallelujah. Mukama at what day is sir? To sovoro kwe no onya, to zewo umuwe, wakati wa ange na ye, wakati wo na ye, chicho kola, ngoriye weka. What do you do when you're there alone? You're not in church, you're not with any brother or sister or any church member. You are sure wherever you are, you are there alone. Do you represent the body of Christ? Amina. Amen. So God has given us the grace. We ought to operate in this grace with faith. Amen. We immediately we get your faith. Oh, brother. Yes. I don't like what you always do. Why do you play in church services? Yeah? Why do you play? Honey, please. They have to be in church. You don't have to shout at them like that. They're just children. How are you? Yes, hello. How are you, my friend? Yes, how is everything? 
Yeah, we are also good. In fact, we are from the church. Okay. Oh, that's so good. That's so good news. When is it? Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. I want to be around that very day. But in fact, what I'm going to do, yes, I'm going to send my wife and the children. Definitely they will come, I promise. They will come. Okay. Thank you so much for calling. Okay, sir. Thank you. And who was that? Frank. Yeah. He's organizing a birthday party for his kid. Ah. Yeah, I think he'll go. Yeah. Oh, brother. Yes, first. Praise the Lord. Uh, praise the Lord. How are you? Very fine. How are you? Uh, you don't understand something. The kids are not coming to Sunday school. In fact, we have kids younger than that. Sure. Yes. You know, you know, when you teach them when they're young, mm. they start to know God and they know God up to their old age. And oh. they be like you. Okay. So I didn't know that, brother. I didn't know. Next time I'll bring them to Sunday school. Okay, okay. Anyway, I promise. I'm hoping I'll be seeing them. No, you see them. I, I okay. promise. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Uh, Bryce, I want you to give my children lunch in time. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Anne. My children? You know what? Is this the reason I brought you from the village? And you slapped her too? Okay, fine. You did the right thing. Go pack your rugs because I'm taking to the village first thing in the morning. You go! I don't want to hear anything. You go! I said go! Hey, hey, what's going on here? Can you believe this silly thing you see here? Beats our children when we are well? This sure? so-called nothing? Is it true? Did you beat this thing? Why do you beat children? Let's just do one thing. You go pack your bags. I don't want to talk much, okay? Go pack your bags and go! No, no, no. We can sort this out. Okay? We can sort it out first. There's no sorting things. There's nothing we are going to sort. Let her go and leave us. No, no, Destiny. no, I don't want my children to suffer. Listen, come here. It's okay. Are you okay? Okay. Still away. Yeah, I'm still doing some work here. <sighs> the girls are sleeping. But Destiny is terrified. You know Destiny is also stubborn. But I talked to Grace. 
I've tried making phone calls to see if we can get another maid. But sweetheart, you know it's not easy to get someone. Not at all. I wanted her to just leave. Hmm? Who knows? Something worse than that can happen. Sweetheart, people have got different characters. We've watched the maids killing children on TV. I think we've stayed with Grace for so long. I'm sure she won't repeat it again. Okay. If you insist, let me go to sleep. But please, when you're done, don't forget to put off the lights. Have a good night. Good night too. out of anger or what. I don't expect you to start fighting with our kids. What you did was very wrong. I just forgot for us to return. So you will never do it again. Okay, we can go. This will come. You don't have to fight auntie. Okay? She's a good person to you. Now you see, she cooks your food, washes your clothes, and even she helps you to do homework. So you don't have to find her. She has to be your friend, a good friend, okay? Yeah. And you grow here, okay? You don't have to fight aunt. You be good, good children, okay? Yeah. So that's it. Okay. Hope you're done with the homework. Are you done? Are you? heaven, give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our things, as we have forgiven those who sing against us. So happy to have you here. Ah, but now to marry this side. To have sala cake. To lie. To na malok sala cake. Nga to mazo jiria. To gak funa yo. Obu zoto dumwa na ba na. Kuvam baibo. Yeah. So, Mr. Frank. Well, thank you so much, MC. My words are limited. First and foremost, I would like to thank you all for attending this function. On a day like this, six years ago, God sent us an angel. She has been a blessing to our family. She has been a source of happiness and inspiration in my house. Daisy, 
Dad loves you so much and I'm proud of you. Happy birthday. Yeah, my dad. Well, um, I would like to use this opportunity to invite my wife, my angel, to say a word or two. Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you all for coming. Lizzie, you look very beautiful. Mommy loves you. Happy birthday. By names, I'm called Daisy. Today is my birthday. I thank you all for coming. Thank you for the birthday gifts and wishes. May God bless you. Ah, well done, yeah? Time for cake. And then you are fed. My mommy knows I'm cooling, let me just say cake. What, mama? Bana, time for quiz. Is it okay? Ah, first question is, why did Jesus die for us? To save us from our sins. Thank you. Ah, second question. Does Jesus love young children? Yes. Ah, third. What do we do when you wake up in the morning? Honey, I'm talking to you. I'm interested. We both are, but don't you think we have to... Can't wait till tomorrow? No. So, what is it? It's about our children. What about them? I think we are not doing enough. What is that supposed to mean? I mean, the way they behaved today at the party, jumping up and down, it was really embarrassing. They're still young. Honestly, Gloria couldn't even answer a single question from the Bible. And the way they were just picking food from people's plates. Thank God. At least we've seen the mistakes of your children. So, have you talked to them? No, I've not. But I think maybe they're still young. Maybe with time they'll grow up. <laughs> We are still young. You are sleeping? We are still talking. It's all your fault. It's all you to blame. Every time any person tries to talk to your children, you claim they are still young, they are kids. But what are you forgetting? These kids are growing bigger each and every other day. What 
are you trying to say? Now, are you blaming everything on me? Is this what you're trying to say? What kind of mother are you? You can't even teach the slightest of morals to your children. Whenever I try to talk to them, all you do is to make me look the bad person before them. So you're trying to say that I'm a bad mom? No, I was just trying to tell you... Don't what... say nothing! So let's get seated, please. Yes, God is good. Thank you so much, praise and worship, and everyone that has showed up in the house of the Lord. Uh, I am so happy that I'm seeing a lot of young faces in the house of the Lord. It's always good to have young people looking at God for help. Amen. Amen. Now, welcome your neighbor. Just give a handshake. Welcome them to the house of the Lord as we're going to listen to the wonderful word of the Lord. Woo! I feel a lot of energy today, and God is going to do a wonderful miracle tonight. I am sure. If we hear out the word of the Lord this day, we are sure we don't go back the way we came. We will leave this place different. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's get our Bibles. How many people came with our Bibles today? Very good, very good. You need to understand when you're coming to the house of the Lord, you come with your Bible. Because the spirit of the Lord is in his word. Amen. Amen. His word is his spirit. So, botata mla nashigambo chakatonda. So turn with me to the wonderful book of Proverbs, chapter 10. We will read verse 1. Amen. We are happy we are in the house of the Lord and we're going to talk about the goodness of the Lord and the word of the Lord and raising up our children in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, Proverbs chapter 10, verse 1. Proverbs 10 verse 1 it reads A wise son makes a glad father but a foolish son is a grief to his mother. Amen. Ah okuchinyonyola muntu kulimi oluganda chitegeza anti omwana omugezi gezi awe such tawe chitiwa. Ne chane chisirusiru chivumaganyani. So in other words we ought to raise the children of God in the house of the Lord in the fear of the Lord. Amen. Njaga tu manyenti tu take a dog upuza abana ba femundi sa yowa katonda. Bring your kids to church, teach them the word of God, always make them understand why they come to church. Amen. Are we together? So we do not have a right to raise children outside church. As parents, we are supposed to raise children in the fear and in the word of the Lord. Come on, give it up. Hallelujah. God is good. Let's rise up on our feet. Oh, how are you, my 
daughters. We are not fine. Are you sick? Daddy, can you fix the TV for us? Grace! Grace! Welcome back. Thank you. I'll have to the table. It's Aunt. What about Aunt? Uh, Gloria, Destiny, we are going to have some new changes in the house. Mommy, did we do something wrong? No, but it's high time you understood God. Mommy, we are from church. I know that. Do you know anything about Jesus? Jesus? No. Okay, so what we are going to do now, we are going to just switch off this TV for a while because I want you guys to concentrate on your books. I don't know what it is. But Mommy! Don't say anything! But, but Mommy! No, no, don't say nothing. I want you to concentrate on your books. Uh, yeah, this is smell for me. Good, it's not for me. Okay? You see, everything's gonna be okay when she comes back home. Okay? Yeah, don't get so. Don't put that face on. Oh, honey, you're back. Yeah. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> what happened to the TV? That is one of the new rules in the house. New rules? Yeah, in fact, this is a new type of table. Girls, I got for you some rules you're going to follow every day. No more washing shoes by grace. You have to wash your uniforms every day after school. You have to wash utensils every day. No more washing uniforms by grace. They're going to be washed by you, okay? And this system of coming to my room every morning, I don't like it. Steven? Steven! Bible. Oh, yes. Ah, how did this start? I mean, how did you make him like this? I just started training him when he was still young. I always take him to church. And in church always, you know, these kids, they separate them from the adults. At least them, they take them in Sunday school. And the way they teach these big people is not the way they teach these children. In Sunday school, they simplify things for them. Yeah. That is right. But you know, mine are stubborn. I don't know. It's just not as the way you have raised that kid. You have to start when the kid is still young so that he grows up when he knows good. 
Does he also know how to pray? He knows. Really? Yeah. Hello. How are you? Do you know how to pray? Yes. Can you pray for me? Yes. Okay. Now, Father, who art in heaven, may it be a name of your name, come to a bit and make us as it is in heaven. Give us a step and a day of it, and forgive us a step there. Oh my God, I'm really impressed. This is so nice. I don't know how to like to raise my kids like him. You know, mine they are a bit stubborn, but I think they can still catch up. I'm really impressed. I mean, how old is he? He's six years. Just six. Yes. Honey, where are you coming from? Okay, I um. Steven. I'm I asked you a question, and I think I deserve a straight answer. Well, I I was with my friends watching football. Since she banished the TV anyway around here. So I had to stay outside and watch it for a while. Seriously, when are you going to start to just stop blaming me? Whatever I'm doing is for our children's sake. But did you ever think of my favorite channels? Steven, do you even listen to yourself? What are you trying to say? Steven, what is wrong with you? What has gone over you? Why are you treating me like this? Okay, honey. Please don't touch me. Don't. I don't even know where you're coming from. But I told you and I was... Don't. I'm really tired of stressing myself. Just go out. Go and sleep wherever you want. Just go. But it's the father to authorize it. Doctor, please, I'm begging you, please do something. This is an issue of life and death. But if the father is still alive, 
There is no way we can do the operation without his consent. Doctor, why are you so heartless? My, my, my daughter is inside that way. I'm sorry, Doctor, Doctor. Please, I'm begging. Please do I something. wish I could help. <laughs> but it's against the hospital procedures. Please, Doctor. Doctor, Doctor, please, stop. <laughs> Hello. Yes, hello. Where is Steven? I'm sorry, Mom. He just moved out a while ago. Would you want me to deliver any message to him? <laughs> oh, here he is. What is it? Your wife. My wife? Uh, one of your girls is admitted. Are you sure? Hello, see that? Steven, where have you been? I've been trying to call you, huh? Our daughter is in the hospital. Stephen, where are you? I'm, I'm sorry, where are you? Where are you? Which hospital? The family hospital. Thank God. Okay, okay. I'm on my way coming. Okay, calm down. I'm coming. I'm coming, okay? Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, it's okay. Calm down. I'm coming. I'm on my way coming. Please, sorry. Please. Madam, we don't have plenty of time left. Doctor, please, he's coming. At what time? Fine. She's going to be okay, dear. Okay? She's going to be fine. Can I go and get for you a cup of coffee? I don't need anything. All I want is for my daughter to be free. It's all my fault. Oh, come on, dear. Come on. How could I not know that she's going through all this pain? It's not time for you to blame yourself, okay? <laughs> what I know is that whatever you wish for her, you wish her the best. She's going to be okay. Doctor, doctor, how is she now? Getting better now. But she needs some um, living space. She's a, a very strong girl. She'll be fine, I know. Okay. Thank you so much, Doctor. You're welcome. Now, we have to go. She's going to be okay, honey. You don't cry. Okay?
Gloria. Destiny. How are you guys? We are fine. How was your day? Was cool. Mommy got for you something. Do you like it? Yes. Okay. Do you know that mommy loves you so much? Hmm? Yes. Mommy loves you very much and don't ever forget that, okay? Yes. Yes. I don't want you to say mommy doesn't love us. Mommy complains too much. You know why I complain sometimes? I complain because I want you to have a bright future, okay? Yes. So where you do wrong, I have to talk about it yes. and correct you, okay? Yes. yes. And uh, Gloria, the way you acted at the birthday party, hmm? you didn't even answer a single question from the Bible. And uh, Destiny, yes. hmm? the way you also jumping up and down, you touched even Daisy's cake. Do you remember? Yes. Hey, but like, it was really a shaming. Only for me that I didn't Really? Yes. You promised to change? Yes. Okay. So if you're going to change, I'm also going to do for you something nice. What do you want? Chocolate. And you? Biscuit. Okay. So you want chocolate? You want biscuits? Only if you're going to change. You're going to change? Yes. Okay then. Don't lose his tool. For God loved the word that he gave his only son. Let's add. Thank you, Aunt. Thank you, Thank you, Aunt. Father, we would like to dedicate this evening into your hands. Amen. May it be unforgettable in our lives. Amen. May it bring joy and happiness in our lives as a family. Amen. We are so happy you've kept us together Amen. with our beautiful smiles. Amen. We are so glad and we always rejoice in you, Father. Amen. Father, we would like to cancel all the demonic powers working in this place. Amen. Amen. Would like to cancel all the plans of the devil. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. That's so
Thank you.